Well, it's guys, I'm Taylor. It's your boy, Dre. And with the, the current inc- incarnation of Sonic being redone, as far as because the fans hate it, we thought, hey, you know, some fans, I didn't think, yeah, some, I fans like, was... some fans don't like it. So in, in the news in the past, it's been known that they're making a Mario movie from uh, Illumination, I believe, the same people who did the Minions movie. So we want to do a pitch on, a brief elevator pitch on the movie, on what we think the Mario, the Mario Brothers movie should be characters you know what it should be how it should look and the story possibly what it would what it would revolve around so let's start with the obvious dre in order for this <laughs> this this movie not to get redone or, or, or corrected for six seven months what should the look of the movie be i don't think well granted it's gonna be illumination so think of minions when think yeah about this. i was gonna think the only way where it works out like the whole sonic fiasco because people can You'd have to make the whole thing CG. Like that's the only way to work out where, even though these super abnormal proportions characters blah, 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 fits, is that he is in a world where he's not too far off from the look for everybody else. So you're thinking of Mario Odyssey, Mario? Put it in a video game perspective. Perspective. I personally so. never played Mario Odyssey, so I don't know. Well, it's kind of like kind of like Galaxy, kind of same look and feel. Look at Mario. Think of that same character structure for a a Bowser. You've seen the Nintendo Directs? They have the CG Bowser and stuff for E3. The Nintendo uh, Direct for the E3. Oh, the the one where he's talking to him. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So that that Bowser. Um. So kind of like that look. We. What about Smash Brothers? More of a better a better yeah. reference. Yeah. <laughs> Smash Brothers. Okay. Like so okay. Much more relevant okay. Reference okay for so our better reference for Dre would be Smash oh Brothers. God. So. <laughs> so look look the way that 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 Mario Luigi Toad not Toad my apologies but Bowser Princess. The Murray characters look in, in Smash Brothers, so you want you want they would be a good a good reference for a point for yeah. basically the the I feel like that is like the, the iconic look to him in I mean in three uh three D now. So now what about characters? Uh, what characters do you think would be best? What, what characters need to be in the movie? I would really like a Mario story to have the characters of uh, Wario and Waluigi. Just them two? It's in yeah. the movie? It's those two? Yeah, it's I, I don't care who else. You, I feel like the Shy guys have to be there. Wario, Waluigi. The Goomba? King, King Boo. No, nah, not Goomba. King no Goombas? Boo. No Goombas. I, I feel you like... You want Boo or King Boo? King Boo. Okay, so the big, the big Boo. Big Boo. Yeah. And Waluigi and Wario. I feel like if, if you have a story, it has to revolve around them, and plus, you know, the, the, the main cast. Which oh, is that's what I'm saying. Like, who, are the, who are the main cast that you want? The who main cast being Mario, Waluigi, Princess, and Toad. Is, so the cast of Mario, the, the, even... the players of Mario no, 2. No, Yoshi. I can't stand Yoshi. No, Yoshi. So you want you want Mario 2's cast. You want Mario, Luigi, Princess Toad, and Mar- Waluigi, and Wa- and Wario, yeah. as well as King Boo, the Shy Guy. So Mario, again, more Mario 2. Um, what about Bowser? No Bowser? I, mean, I, I feel like he can be a character there, but he doesn't need to be like... A main character. He's like. Is he character. the? Is he the overall villain? And then like the sub villains are Walu- Wario and Waluigi. Nah, I think he'd be like the mistaken for the villain. Like to me, you have so many stories that revolve around Mario defeating Bowser. Just to have another movie about it, just kind of like this. Just seems like a... good. <laughs> so we have our we have our cast of our main characters who are going to be who are going to be in the world we're following. Now let's talk about story, story wise. Are we starting with Mario already already in the in the in the in the Mushroom Kingdom, or do we show Mario getting sucked into the uh, some kind of pipe or whatever, going to the Mushroom Kingdom? <laughs> I'm saying like how, think, how how do you how do you want to start the movie? I, off? I think where, the movie starts where they they exist in the Mushroom Kingdom. They just they're they're just there. like they're part of this Mushroom Kingdom. Like, do you do they even mention being being transported there ever? No, it is kind of like no, is it just known that they're yeah. there. They're like, there's no beginning, there's no end to them being in a mushroom king. It's not like, oh, I woke up one random day and I'm I'm in this lost word fairy tale world. No, yeah. I mean, he's a, another character. It, it, I think it's gonna be the Mario where there's no real backstory. You just accept that him, Luigi, Princess, told her in this place called the Mushroom Kingdom, and there's no like real like, well, how did they get there? How did this place begin? Like, what's the back? There, there's no backstory. This. You start here and you just accept it. How does Wario and Luigi become the villains of the story? I think there's the discovery of something that is like a... A star, maybe? Yeah, the discovery like a new star on a mountain that they need to get to. Like, whoever can get to it first... Has power. power. And then the race, that's where 
Waluigi and Luigi, Waluigi and Wario come in like, oh, this is our time to shine. Um, yeah. And then that becomes like the villainous plot. It's like, oh, they have to, they, they can't get to the star before we can because otherwise they're going to use it for evil, that kind of thing. What about Koopa? Ha- uh, Bowser has been beaten already in the past. So he's a known villain, but they've already beaten him. So he's not really a threat. Wario and Luigi kind of, They've been working for Bowser in the past, but been as henchmen, not as their own. They're, they're, as you mentioned, the time, the time to shine. So, this star appears on the top of mountain. It could be Chocolate Mountain, or whatever from the Super Mario World. They have they bring in that. They bring the hit those little areas. They maybe they have a map of where the the star is, and they have the map. The <laughs> the, the map is a Super Mario World. It's like that eight bit map. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, I don't know. A little nostalgia, a little throwback, a little like oh yeah, remember that. And they say, okay, we have to go through here, and we have to find it here. Here's the star. Yeah, a throwback like that where they're like, oh, it's on the map, and they bust out the map, and it's clearly like 100% map pulled from Super Mario World. Yeah. <laughs> that would be hilarious. And then so they jump in the, So they jump in their uh, – so they, they bring in Mario Kart, but they jump in the carts. Everybody has their own, like, vehicle they bring. They jump in, you know, like, let's go – you jump in the cart. You know, Mario gets on a motorcycle. So does Luigi. Oh, I like this. So Luigi, Luigi, Luigi busts yeah, out no, his evil I, face. I got it now. So they What's don't up? get. They don't jump in the carts. Uh, while Luigi and Luigi have some way there, and like before the other team can get there, they manage to block their path. They destroy their path, like some rainbow bridge that was there. They destroy it uh-huh. or whatever. How they were going to get there. So now they gotta go talk to Bowser because he's the one that does have a like a flying ship. He has that like, smiley he, face thing. He, he, the propeller ship? No, 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 not that one. But the, the the giant war ship. Oh, yeah, okay. From, from Mario Bros. 3. Yeah. Yeah. So he's going to, they need to get that. Like, look, I know we've had our differences, but if we lose, you lose. So we need that ship and you're going to help us get there. Okay. And then you could technically have like some double cross plot from that. So point. Bowser yeah. thinks, okay, well, I wasn't really, I'm out of the game, but you know, if you go get it for him, if you go get, it, I'll help you, yeah. but we'll share the power. And then his plan is to double cross Mario and Mario, right. Mario and Luigi. Luigi. But either way, they can't get there without him. Like, this, yeah, like they like. So that's how you bring in Bowser, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the out of work, the <laughs> retired Bowser. Like we were taking Rainbow Bridge, they beat us there, and they blew up the bridge. Now there's no way there, and you have the only means for transportation to this place. Uh, that warship we've always we beat you on, but we need your help now. Yeah, there you go. So now you can now you can throw in the whole. Koopa gang and Koopa Bowser gang. Yeah, so that's how you bring in Bowser. And then, like, you can see Bowser's a changed man because he has, like, eight kids that he's taking care of. <laughs> so he's even like, though one of them's, even though one of them's really his, the other ones are just kind of, just, yeah. they're just there. Like, he's like, he's, this is what he does now. Like, he's a changed man. And, like, look, I'm over that villainy stuff, but his kids are little brats. So he's taking care of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And that's that. So, um, Based on that, we have now. It's still going to be four, the four people. It's still going to be uh, Mario, Luigi, Princess, and Toad. Again, um, characters in Mario Two on their way to the mountain, um, interfering with most people. Who do they meet on the way? Maybe they maybe they don't use him, but maybe they they help or release a Yoshi. Maybe he's too trapped. Uh, do you want you? Do you really want to say, just wipe Yoshi at all from the thing? The yeah. Do they, they visit old castles? They go to a castle to look for it. They go, oh, it's here. And then they go in there and they're like, oh, sorry, Mario. This isn't the, 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 the star is in another castle. Or there's a castle on chocolate on the mountain. That's what it is. I'm spitballing here. I don't know, guys. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Because I, I feel like the star has to be inaccessible. Okay, so you know Mario in uh, Super Mario World where they have Bowser's level? is like all full of lava and you have to like, go through the different little islands to get there. So yeah, they, something like that. So do you think, okay, so how about this? So the star has crashed in maybe in the Bowser's old castle in the those islands, and they've blocked off. They they boarded up and blocked off the only star warp point just for safety reasons. Then nobody goes there again, and they don't want Bowser to go back to it. They they put they've used um maybe one of the wizards something to hmm. block off the point to go to the castle. But unfortunately, that's where the that's where the castle is. That's where the the, the star has fallen with the power. And they have to go back there. That works. That works. So then they have to go. Then you can have like a, we have to go to the haunted mines or the haunted. Yeah. And that's where you get your, you get your get that's where you get your booze. <laughs> your booze come in. You can tie in the Ouija Mansion part of it with, do, with Doctor Egad. 
Uh, I've never actually played. That's the guy's game. The guy, the guy, the guy who gives you the backpack. No, oh, yeah, the yeah. So vacuum, they, they the super it, sucker, <laughs> whatever it is called. Either way, they get, had to give him something to get to the the haunted forest. So he, like, that's where that's where Luigi's time to shine. North Police, that's where he's in charge. Like, don't worry, guys. I've had some experience with this. Oh, and he gets him through. So he busts out the reference. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, like, Luigi, Luigi Mansion. I played that. Yeah, exactly. And that's where you like you you you, you give him the. the now everyone's following Luigi. It's not always Mario. Now Luigi's getting his, <laughs> so to speak. Okay. And after that, they they make their way to they make their way to the the place. Well, I guess where it's um. Do they? So they, I, I say, they both make it at the same time. While Luigi and Wario and the four make it to the same boarded up place, boarded up warp point. They have a they they and the they use the warships to kind of blow up and like kind of mess up the four. So they're knocked out. They open the pathway. They go first to the star, and they're trying to make their way through. But they they're going they're going okay. So they make their way in and they go to the castle where the star is. But they forgot which doors to go in because it's a maze. <laughs> so they're, so Mario, you know, Mario, classic yeah, Mario, scene where they show some running through doors and something stuff like that. that. <laughs> so we're like, they're like, Oh, what door is it? Like, I, I keep going to the same place. Like I I don't know. And you do, you remember? Like, oh, I don't remember. And then Mario's like, I remember. So the four actually ended up making it there. And they, Warren, Luigi and Wario see them. And they go through the. They they say, okay, we're gonna hang back and we're gonna follow them where they go because they know where it's at. And then once they once they go through the right door, we'll ambush them, we'll take them out, we'll take we'll steal the star. The power will be ours. That seems like more of a villain thing to say. So that's what, <laughs> that's what they do. And at the very end, at the very end, we, before just as just as Mario is about to get the star, and Wario Wario and Waluigi have sprung their trap to try to get them, here comes Bowser and grabs the star first. And he turns into the Super Bowser, where he gets really big, like the big Bowser. And it, in the and the last fight is between like Mario, Luigi, Princess, and Toad, and that's it. The Wario, Wario Luigi, and Mario are off to the side, kind of scared. I like that idea, but I like the idea that the, that happens. What's up? And then the star still has left over power, so both Mario and Luigi grab it, and they become Super Mario and Super. Yeah, Luigi. there you go. And you start they start glowing. They start having the, the rainbow yeah. of their body, and then they both fight it out. But it's not enough. So now. They need Super Waluigi and Super Super Mario, Mario Super Mario, yeah, to, to really fight it out. And yeah, I don't know, something like that. Where like they're not to decide, like okay, they're losing this battle. Like okay, well, we need more power. Yeah. We need more help. Like nothing. Like he's he's still he's still overpowering us. And then like still, it's not enough. So Peach joins in. He they all overcome Bowser. Yeah, and that's that's that. So how does it end? Does it end with a cliffhanger of a possible sequel? Who who comes in after that? I think it opens a cliffhanger like the Star Universe is now. Like the Star was really just a gateway to the another universe, and that's where you can expand the entire Mario galaxy. So, so now Mario we Gal- were just in Mario World, and now we're at Mario Galaxy, and that's where Rosalinda comes in. She's like the guide to Mario Galaxy. That's where you end on like, oh, we need help. Oh, here. so what? What if the Star is a a message like a help me? Like I need help. Like, I think a gateway is better. <laughs> I, don't know. I mean, how how would you choose? There was Linda. Like, come down. Like the 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 star is really just a message. Well, yeah, then, she sent the star. Yeah, as a gateway. A me- like, uh, gateway is a message saying like, "Help me." And then the gateway is like, then they say, "Okay, here we go." And now suddenly, it, like it goes. Here we the, go again. And the <laughs> the screen flashes to like a I guess like a flash wipe, and then it ends. And it hits rap music or rock music, and then the credits. Like they always do. They have some kind of. It can end like Captain America, the first one, where you all just grab the star and you all just got teleported off. <laughs> maybe, maybe they could do that too as well. Who knows? Oh, yeah. But yeah, that's our uh, that's our pitch. Very convoluted. A lot of people on there. A lot of people were not. Long ass elevator pitch. Yoshi right? is the long <laughs> sixty thousand floor elevator, but Yoshi is nowhere to be found in the in the movie. As per Dre, <laughs> Dre has killed Yoshi, and. Yeah. Uh, you know, it'd be funny if you saw what happened to Yoshi, and then Mario's a flashback of him jumping off Yoshi to get into a cliff. <laughs> you see him fall. You see him fall out the hole. So I don't know. He kind of ran away one day. Who yeah. knows? Like, eh. there wasn't, wasn't there like a video of that? Of him? Like, yeah, there's a, there's a video. Like, oh, yeah, like Yoshi made a helper, then Mario, uh, Mario just using him as a, like, to, like an additional yeah. jump to get to the stone, to a cliff. Yeah, Mario's a jerk. <laughs> All right. They ran for themselves. And on that note, we shall see you later. All right. Thank you for typing me in.
Peace. <laughs> okay.